Why is a focus tree, you might ask? They had to add zoom levels so you could see it. Hello, I'm Entrelissim, and welcome to Hearts of Iron for Le Resistance. The Le Resistance expansion is coming out in a few days' time, and this is a sponsored video where I will be playing it. Bear in mind, there will be a link down below in the doobly-doo. If you do wish to go check out the expansion and get it on Steam, you can go click that. It is below the video right now. But the Le Resistance expansion basically includes a whole load of new stuff, including one big mechanic, which is espionage. You can have... A spy agency. You just make a spy agency and then you send them off and they do missions and they can do stuff like, as you might have guessed from the title, uh, support resistance movements. But you can also set up collaboration governments where you have like your collaborators and then they take over when you take over the country and it smooths things over. Uh, and you can do other stuff such as just gaining intel. Uh, there's also new trees for focus. Uh, trees for focus? Focus trees for France, I think Portugal as well, and for Spain. And Spain's one is insane. It is massive. So we're going to be diving in a new game, 1936 start, and we're going to be playing as Spain because I don't think I've actually ever played as Spain before. And they have a lot of new stuff with their focus tree. So uh, they're democratic, blah, 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 blah. That won't last long. And we are going to pick you historical AI focus off and start up. So Welcome to Spain. This will not last very long, but this is what we currently look like. So, first things first, let's have a look at intelligence agencies. We can create an intelligence agency. It will cost us five civilian factories for 30 days. Sure, totally worthwhile. And we're going to pick this because it matches quite nicely with our color. And we're going to be SIA, Spanish Intelligence Agency. There we go. You get working on that. Once that's done and that's set up, we'll be able to recruit an agent, and then that agent will be able to do stuff. Uh, we'll also want to pick... You know, let's look at the National Focus Tree. Where's our Focus Tree, you might ask? They had to add zoom levels so you could see it. It's... Ah, uh, yeah. I spent a lot of time earlier just studying the Focus Tree, trying to figure out, like, right, how does this work? And it's big and complicated. You get two major options, one of which is go fascist or unaligned. Um, and then you've got the three kind of trees inside of this, one, two, three. And then over here, you've got go communist or unaligned. And you've got your communist options. And I think that's an unaligned option over there. Three inside of it. And the one that I want to go for is new. It's entirely possible only now. And that is this one. It's on the communist side, but it is not Stalinism. It's anarchism. Anarchism knows no borders. Gains national spirit. Anarchism knows no borders. Which grants loads of stuff. So, going this route, you get, like, you tank your stability massively, but you do get lots of production bonuses, and you also get uh, a load of stuff for, um, what's it called? People, 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 uh, what are they called? Let's find it. Where is it? Militarizes people. Here we go. Recruitable population. There we go. I think you get like 7 to 9% buff to recruitable population from that tree. So you can go pretty deep on that. But it does really harm your production. And first things first, we're going to pick the popular front and start going that route. Okay. Standard technology. Basic machine tools. Construction 1. And then... Electrical mechanical engineering. And then we will want to set our civilian factories doing some stuff. Don't build in the north if you're playing uh, communist. If you want to play fascist, don't build in the south. Because this is where we'll go fascist and this is where we'll go communist. Simple. I'm kind of tempted to go immediate military factory because we might need it for the civil war. How long will that take? That'll be it about the start of the Civil War. Okay, we'll get one of you built, and then we'll just queue up some normal civilian factories. Unassigned division, doesn't matter. The Civil War's going to mess that up. And then military factories. Uh, we can't get support equipment because that takes aluminium, so instead we'll go artillery and guns. In fact, we'll go more on guns because we desperately need guns. Right. With that said, 
Oh, and we'll get um, more civilian factories after the spy agency's done, so we'll be able to build that military factory quicker. With that said, I think we're good to increase our time. So, this is... Hey, so uh, what if you wanted to go anarchist? You can now. Anarchy must succeed. Notice that it's anarchy, but with an E in it. Mm -hmm -hmm. I had to. Sorry. Uh, I've never really played a Spain before. I don't know why. But. We're going to liberate it for the people. It's also like. Here's a hip. Sorry, small bug right here. It says Siam. It doesn't mean anything. Like, if you look, it says Sia here. I just don't know why, but apparently. Siam is the model that all intelligence agencies must follow. Recruiting an operative, 29 days. Uh, once we recruit an operative, we can do stuff. But until then, we'll let you just chill. The Popular Front. Right, we need to do secure the Guardia di Assalto or secure the Guardia Civil. We're going to go for the Guardia Assalto? Basically, it's a choice of, hey, do you want five trained units or do you want ten poorly trained units? The other side will get the one you don't pick. We're going to go for the Guardia Assalto, which is the trained... The loyalty of the Assault Guards are the well-trained heavy police reserve. Yes, we'll get that going. And... Oh, this, by the way, is our counterintelligence level. Just if you're wondering. Spanish election. Here we go. Uh, massively slow down time. Despite a massive election campaign by the Spanish Confederation of Autonomous Rights, it is the left-wing popular front formed by the Spanish Socialist Workers' Party and Republican left with the aid of the anarchist, communist, and trade unionists, which appears to have won the 1936 elections. Yes. Illustrating the heavily divided Spanish political landscape, the popular front's lead in the popular vote seems to be far more narrow than the comfortable lead in seats would indicate. Though, well, that's not relevant to the modern world. Uh, whichever new government will be formed under the leadership of President Manuel Azana in the days and weeks ahead, it will have to deal with an increasingly alienated and hostile political right. Again, no idea what that would be relevant in the modern day. Rather than solve political violence and societal unrest that grips our country, it is therefore seems likely the recent election will only serve to exacerbate it. Only through the extinction of fascism can Spain survive. Okay. Okay, so now the civil war has triggered, we get access to a whole load of decisions up here. Welcome to the metagame of the civil war. So... All of these indicate that currently they are loyal to the government. Three ticks means that, hey, they are three in favor of the government. They will only flip if they go down all the way and lose all three ticks to go to three crosses, which means that they are then support the nationalists. Um, so they will attempt to get them to flip sides. As you can see down here, they're attempting to get them to flip sides. So this province will be for us. But if they flip it three times, it will be in favor of them. And then we'll have to flip it three times to get it back. So, us versus the Nationalist is now going to kick off. But, and there's a big but here, although we start with everything in our control, there's a very early decision that they will get, because they're actually doing their side of the decision tree, which gives them control of all of these provinces here in the north. If we actually look at our decision tree, it's uh, secure the northern garrisons. They get control of a whole load of stuff. So, there's no point in us doing anything up here. Secondly, military plot. 250 days. In 250 days, there will be a civil war. Generally, although we start off in a good position, the fascists want this to be fast. Their decisions are 35 and 28 day decisions. They will be done really fast. Our decisions are 70 day decisions. If we can extend this time and wait for the civil war, we will be in a much better position. So, they are currently doing, say, political assassination. Remove 25 days from military plot. They're going to remove days from the plot to get to happen faster. The entire point right now, as the communists, is to add time and never not be adding time. All of these add time to it. So, we're going to do concessions to the left, which active for 37 days, effect when removed, add 37 days. Theirs is... takes 38 days removes 25 
So if we keep these going, we can lengthen this timer. So we're going to do concessions to the left. It also gives us uh, political power 20% for the duration, 5 stability, uh, construction speed minus 5, factory output minus 5, dockyard minus 5. And that's going to be important. Flipping provinces is secondary for us. We always need to have these fire in because we want to get our decisions down to here. We want to disband the army. Reduce the proportion of the army on the side of the nationalist forces from 50% to 20%. And reduce the number of African divisions from 5 to 3. That will massively help. That's what we need to get to. So we should actually leave that on decision tree right now so we can watch. If they have to take a province for us to keep firing these, because they do cost a lot of political power, then fine, that's what we do. Now, their political assassination is actually pretty good for us, because it means that we can use political arrest, which only costs 10, which is that when they've done an assassination, we can do an arrest. Okay, so they've took one tick off this, and they're probably going to do it again, are they? No, they've actually changed, they're doing this one, okay. Ooh, we can recruit an operative. Uh, Isidoro Rodriguez, Soroko, Alan de Salsa, Soroko, Socorro, Socorro. And uh, you have no traits, so I'm not even a bother. You have tough and natural orator, and you have seducer, which is, means you have better infiltration. Tough means you extract information more difficultly from you, and. Stage coup risk, stage coup risk. Okay, you've got staging coups. Um, I'm going to go for you. I like Seducer. I like the idea that you can, like, infiltrate effectively. And you're Spanish, which means that you're more effective in Spain. Currently, you'll just be on defensive, which means that our counter intel will go up. I'm fine with that. We're not going to really worry about that until, particularly after the Civil War. If you can get information during the Civil War, great. Right. Concessions are left. We've got to watch this. This is incredibly important. We need to be able to get this so we can get going. Remember the from the Rhineland. They just did hand over the Cedar campaign chest, which gives them 200 political power, so they're going to spend that. They won't have much political power after they spend that, though. Right, they challenged that garrison. Where are they challenging now? They're challenging down here. They're challenging a lot of different garrisons. That's fine for me. If they go target one garrison and flip it, that would be bad. If they're just spreading around, not as bad. Electromechanical engineering will replace you with uh, mechanical computing. Okay, we added timer. It's back up to 250 days. Great. Now we could wait a day and do political assassination, but I don't want to wait a day. Every day matters. We're going to do concessions to the left again. It'll give us more political power. Okay, now we can do political arrest when we're done. Where are they influencing now? Up here, okay. <laughs> it's a bit of an odd choice to just jump around like that. You really need to be focusing one province to really get to flip, but... Hey. Okay. They're doing sway leader loyalty, which is not great. That means that they're going to get a general. Currently, they're only on 27 units and we're on 63, but that will drastically change when they flip the northern provinces. Okay. I'm going to train the Union Youth, which will give us 5% uh, popularity of communism and 5 well trained infantry. Ethiopia capitulated. United Kingdom uh, concedes to trade unions. Ostensibly an effort to garner more popular support from their rearmament program. They've now entered into a conversation with trade unions. Okay. All right, keep going. Don't want to lose any time here. Where are they working right now? Oh, here. Really have jumped around a lot, haven't they?
Three, two, one. Political leader arrest. Only costs us 10, and it will actually generate 25 political power for us and gain base stability. It's going to be incredibly useful. Uh, second naval treat of London. We've got basic machine tools. Dispersed industry. I think it'll be better for us, really. Corboda. They're really... They're going for everything. What, is, what strategy is this? Aha! Primo di Riviera speech. Right. They're basically going to do this, which is going to buff support of fa uh, fascism. They're going to buff support of fascism in the country. After he does his first speech, though, we can do it. Imprison Primo di Riviera. And that's what our objective is going to be. It's only 20 as opposed to the 30 these cost. Our entire mission right now is to drag out this fight. Okay, they're going for the Madrid garrison. Interesting, the Madrid garrison costs more. It's double the cost. It's, uh, I think, first time to flip it is normally 10. For them, it's 20 now. For us it, to flip back, it's uh, 20. Neutrality Act in the US, okay. Vasco. Okay. Three, two, one. Skill leader loyalty. Reassign disloyal leader. Ooh. Or just securely to loyalty, I think. Rather than reassign. Reassign just means it takes two months for them to actually join the fight. Construction. Okay, we'll do construction. Um, we will do fuel storage. It's a quick one. In fact, we want to actually start storing fuel if we can for the war. How's our production going? We'll let you finish the military factory first before we alter that. Okay, they did the speech. They're actually doing a second speech, I think. All right, they put one in. They're going back to the Sevilla garrison, which means that we're actually going to counter them. This is normally much quicker than this, but they're now trying to influence this a second time. And because the cost increases every time, I don't want to wait them to flip it one more before we respond. Also, they might even try to flip it fully before we respond, at which point that would be bad. Because if we let them have two ticks and then respond, they might get their third tick in before we can get our response in. If that makes sense, so that they'll flip it the entire way. We don't want that. We're going to immediately respond and we're going to counter that. Which means that they'll get their tick, and then we'll immediately get our tick back. And they have secured the Northern Garrisons. There we go. They've all flipped here. Con Piquito, that's the last one of their things they can do. Oh god, I missed a few hours there. Enlarge the weapons cache. Actually, I should read what Enlarge the weapons cache does. Retain 80% of equipment instead of 50%. Okay, we just get more of the equipment. Sure. There's 154 days left in the military plot, which is getting tight. We need... We need about 210. Okay. Where are they flipping now? Valencia. Oh. Okay. Note that they're 58, 47 right now. Not good. We could try flipping one of theirs. We've got enough political power. Yeah, let's do it. 
they'll have to respond to that. Imprison Riviera. Done. Oh, they're going down to Sevilla Garrison again. I'll have to respond to that. Unless we want them to take it. We could try and take this off them, though. Oh. No. Respond. Leadership purges. Now, they're actually going to start running out of political power. Most of the political power they get is from a big event that gives them 200. Which means that since they've spread themselves so widely, they might not be able to follow up. Notice they're not actually swaying another garrison yet. They're just doing sway leader loyalty. Oh, there we go. They're doing Sevilla again. Uh, yes, we will counter that. My hope is that we might be able to sneak in and flip this province. This is going to get very tight. All right, the Olympiad. Reassign this oil leader. Keep it going. I think we can. I think we might be able to flip this. Fuel storage. Uh, we will grab. We'll grab excavation. Political assassination. Interesting. Okay, we got enlarged the weapons cache. Distribute arms to the people. Change in popularity of non line, 5%. Upon the start of the war, gain 10 units. Great. United Kingdom revisits colonial policy. It's setting everyone in the world to go towards independence. Interesting. Three, two, We're going to have to flip this, which is a shame. I don't want them getting this one. We could totally flip this right now, but I don't want them flipping Sevilla. Oh, no, stop. Oh, uh, we're going to secure leader loyalty again. This is going to be very tight. I think we're just going to be okay, though. Here we go. Flip Aragon. If we can flip Aragon, I'll be very happy. Right, mechanical computing. Uh, we will get support weapons. All right, they're challenging us down here again. Dispersed. We will get what we get here ahead of time. Yeah. Into our artillery. They're doing political assassination again. I guess maybe it's cheaper or something. It's very easy for us to respond to, though. Right. We got Aragon. We're gonna keep Seville. I don't have to have anywhere in my backyard I have to defend. They've already got something in the backyard they have to defend. I don't want to have to deal with that. If I can, I'd love to get Navarre. That would mean we'd have those three... No, Navarre's 40, and we need to run another event after this. We can't. Can't afford it. I 
And yes, we do need to respond to this. Um, political arrest, and then respond to that. Which is going to get very tight, but I think we're good. Distribute arms to the people. Disband the army. Political power plus 200. Reduce the proportion of the army side. What's the current timing? 91 days. Okay. That's all we need. Hell, lengthening it probably gives us more political power than them. They get the 200 political power at the start, we get it at the end. If we can get to the end, we can flip more places. I think we can afford to try and start flipping Navarre. It's risky. All right, we flipped it once. We gotta flip it twice more to get that. We don't have the political power right now, and even if we did, I'd want to keep some around for political arrest. Actually, political arrest gives us 25 political power. We'll have to do some calculations when we finish political arrest. Right. Seventy-five days. That'll be done in fifteen. And it will subtract 25, which means we will have 50 left. We would be finished by seven days. We could let them do that, but I'm minded to keep pushing to grab this. So we're going to reassign a disloyal leader, and then we're going to grab Navarre. What if you can entirely just ignore the war? It probably will happen. There we go. They're challenging the Seville garrison. And we are going to be able to lengthen it. This is the last time we can lengthen, though, I think. Here's the question. I don't think they'll have time to respond. I'm going to try and grab Navarre. I don't think they have time to flip Seville. But they might. If they do, well, that's just the price we pay. It's probably worth it for him to be able to do this. This is going to be it. This guarantees us, I think, the win. I'm going to click that. That'll guarantee they can't flip it. Oh, we didn't even need to, actually. They're going to be shortening time. It wouldn't matter. The war would trigger. There we go. We've get, we're going to get disband the army. Oh, hello. Nation of Spain declares war. We did disband the army. Beautiful. At exactly 5 a.m. this morning, precisely one day after Connet was lost to the North African garrisons, a well-prepared military operation was launched all throughout Spain with the intention of gaining control of all the major government institutions and strategic locations in major cities. Government parts... Uh, major parts of the Army, Navy, and Air Force have ceased responding to the government orders, while concurrently, Carlist militias have revolted in the north of the country. They're the, I think they're unaligned that side with the nationalists. Complete success of this attempted coup has only been prevented by unofficial people's militias, who, through quick action, have managed to retain control of many of the target locations and cities. Despite this failure to meet their initial goals, however, it seems unlikely that the insurrectionist leaders will give up their strong position as willingly as they did in 1932, with neither side appearing inclined to compromise. The path lies wide open for the current situation to escalate into nationwide civil war. Which, through the bravery of the working man, we will win!
Let me just check which way we want to go on this. No, we want to do which through the communal revolutionary struggle we will win. Which gives us Regional Defense Council of Aragon, which brings us down here. Okay. And because they have flipped a little bit, they are, you know, individual units around that we'll have to, you know, deal with. But this is so much better than it could have been. We might be even able to just crush this a little bit. These units are able to exist properly without having to be threatened. The enemy is severely depleted. Yeah, that really helped us out. That was a massive help. And we're probably going to want to do a whole load of stuff, but we're going to leave that for next time. The Civil War has now kicked off and we're in a pretty good position as of the start. I've been at Elysium. There is a link down below if you do wish to get the game. This has been a sponsored video, sponsored by Paradox. So uh, all the things there, if you want to go check out the game, you can do so down below. Uh, it is a new series with, you know, the new expansion. So it would be nice if you like and subscribe and comment down below. Because again, YouTube algorithms apparently hate you. If you don't do that, it's the thing. Anyway, so if you can do that, I'll be much appreciative. But until next time... Thank you very much for watching, like, subscribe, and stay shiny.